Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sushant Chess Files. Today we are at the next topic that is we are going to look at one of my games and we are also going to discuss how to attack the castled king at the same time. So we have got a king's gambit game here. I used to play the king's gambit quite occasionally and uh, this game was played in the year 2011 and my opponent's rating was around 1980. So let's get started quickly e4, e5, f4, the beginning of king's gambit, white wants to sacrifice the pawn for better development. After ef and f3, d4, c 4 this is how white wants to play. So king's gambit is one of those real gambits where white is not trying to regain the pawn, he just gives the pawn for better development. Opponent went with the move bc5, one of the main ways of declining the gambit, so called the classical variation. White goes nf3. Putting pressure on e5, f into e5 loses to qh4 check. So black goes d6, protects e5, knight c3. Often knight c3 is played before bishop c4. White holds the option of going after nc6 with the move bb5. Although I never do that, but I use this move order. Opponent went nf6, bc4, nc6, d3. All theory so far, bishop g4 is one of the main lines here. When h3 is possible, also na4 is possible. White often wants to play na4, snatch this bishop on b6 and go castle. Hence my opponent plays the move a6. Idea is if na4 then bishop can hide on a7. White wants to solve his castling problems. So one of the ways could be playing queen e2 and bishop e3. But instantly queen e2 will allow bg4 when nd4 becomes major threat. So f5. Two ideas. One, it blocks this bishop. Center is nicely controlled. So we can play the, on the flank that is on the side. Castle moreover loses or gets into a very bad position after g5. There will be nd5, queen d2, bishop f6 followed by queen f6. And white would win very easily. So then his opponent's move is again justified. He plays h6 trying to stop bishop g5. He could have well considered nd4 as well. White often goes with the move nd5 now or later. I played the move queen e2 here. Black plus castle. Black wants to play b5 perhaps. He could have considered b5 here itself. After castle, knight d5. The point is that if b5 which actually happens in the game that is one of the main ideas which I had then I would take on f6 and this d5 square will be there for the bishop. Now I already think that white's play is very easy. How should white attack the king side? That is the big question. And whenever the center is closed, we can play on the flank. So white has this plan of going g4, g5. Here the computer software's programs, they suggest the move g4 very easily. Because g4 and g4, qg2 and then soon they want to get rg1 and attack along the g5 which is i think very strong also i played the move nd5 which i like i felt it's very good and after b5 knight takes f6 queen takes f6 bishop d5 first attacking the knight pinning the knight so bb7 almost forced and now it was very very tempting to go with the move g4 Idea was that only to go g4, g5, hg, bg5, queen is trapped. But I didn't want to allow the queen h4 check after knight d4. Knight takes d4, either bd5 here or first queen check, kd1, kd1 is forced, then bishop d5. This line is very interesting. And after nf3, queen g4, e takes d5, queen f5, although white is much better. But I was not in a mood to allow all this and spoil my inside attacking chances. So I didn't go with the move g4 instantly. This is one of those cases where I would, I felt that the inside attack should happen swiftly and without any hindrance. So I first played the move c3, stopping nd4 altogether. Opponent played the move b4. I think b4 is already a blunder. And now g4. After this, I think black never gets any chance. Barely 12 13 moves have gone by, and already white finds himself in a winning position. Lot of struggle is there for black. I was considering the move queen e7 here. 
the point was that after queen e7 if i go g5 black can try to close the position by h5 i had to spend really some good time here i was keen to play f6 or g6 but then as i told that we should ask the questions what is the weakness so the weakness is the pin of the f7 pawn weakness is the square g7 here and if f7 is pinned then weakness the new weakness is h5 as well so the move n h4 came to my mind now threats are see innumerable there is g6 queen attacked and then queen h5 no defense to the mate on h8 let's say knight c5 then knight g6 queen attacked q8 then q h5 black has nothing to do my opponent played h7 protecting the h6 pawn so that after g5 q7 h6 is not lost in the event of k h8 this h6 would be hanging So I went g takes h6, g takes h6, and now one must be able to spot many ways of winning. White has the very simple and effective knight g5 check. It's almost game over. If h g, then queen h5 check, k g7, and we have the very strong bishop g5 because after f6, queen h6 is checkmate. The d5 bishop becomes very important. So k g7 forced, and now comes q g4. Threatens knight e6 followed by q g7 mate or even knight f7. So king h8, and now q h5. My opponent played the move k g7, and before I could even finish my move, he preferred to resign. I would have most likely gone with the move n e6, although computer vouches for the move n h7. More than any six, but I saw the line that after any six, f takes e six forced, b h six is also good. But I would have played q h six check if king f seven, then q g six mates. So k g eight forced. Either bishop e six here or the move d four. D four is also very strong. It threatens r g one. Then rook f seven, and here also again I had the move d four. Or B G five in mind. Both are very strong. After B G five, Queen F eight, Q G six check, Q G seven forced. Bishop takes F seven. King F eight or H eight are weighed by B F six and B F six respectively. Hence, we can say my opponent's decision was fair enough. There was nothing much to play on for. So we learnt here how, in spite of not castling, White was able to move his own pawns on the wing because. to attack on the flank we need proper control of the center as the rule says a counter play in the center is required when meeting the flank attack i hope you will find the lesson useful and instructive thanks for your time